Jack, your big league career spanned from 1987 to 1999, 12 years as we mentioned before. You were in the beginning part and then the height of the steroid era. When you were on the mound and you were pitching, did you notice the advantage that some of these more buff guys, I guess, started to have upon you? Well, I mean, yeah, you knew. You knew and it was widespread. You know, yeah. it wasn't just a couple guys doing it, which is, you know, a couple guys in the major leagues have been shunned because they were the superstars at the time that did it. But, you know, I'm, not, I'm, I'm just going to tell you right now that there are Hall of Famers that are in the Hall of Fame right now that were users. Yeah. You know, and they're shunning these certain guys because they're like, oh, well, these guys were users. Well, you know what, guys, you know, play that game. There were, there, it was widespread and a lot more people were using than your average person would think. So, so you actively saw it behind the scenes for a long time while Major League Baseball kind of tried to brush it under the rug and didn't address it. I'll be absolutely honest. Yeah. I didn't see anything. Okay. Yeah. But I'll also be absolutely honest. Just like anybody who's looking from the outside, you know who it was and who it wasn't. Yeah. Um, it, it's not that difficult to figure out, which the, the media who's taken the stance against you know, the five guys that they have, you know, being Clemens, Bonds, McGuire, Sammy Sosa, you know, they're, they're hammering those guys. Meanwhile, they're voting in guys to the Hall of Fame who were users as well. I'm not saying every guy that's come out of our era was, but they're in there. Mm -hmm. And they want to make it like they're holier than thou, and we only vote for guys who are clean and this and that. And come on. We all were there. We all watched it. We all watched the physical changes. We all watched the injuries that were telltale. And... You know what? That's just what was going on at the time. I don't have any ill feelings over it. I'm glad that I didn't get into it. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to lie to you also. Had it been put in front of me and they told me, hey, you're going to recover quicker and you're going to be able to bring your A game a lot quicker back here. You know, I would have been tempted to do it too. Hey, it wasn't illegal at the time at our thing. And, you know, it's like, hey, why not? Well, I'm going to try that. You know, anyone tells you they have something that's going to make you better, you're probably going to try it. And that's why a lot of these guys got caught up in it.